The Man with the Magical Mind Once upon a time, in a small town, there lived a man named Professor Jonathan Barnhouse. He was a very special man because he had a secret power. He could move things with just the power of his mind. One sunny morning, Professor Barnhouse decided to use his power to help people. He believed that he could make the world a better place. So, he went to the local hospital to visit sick children. He wanted to bring a smile to their faces by making their favorite toys dance and jump around. The children were amazed and giggled with joy as their toys floated through the air. The nurses and doctors were in disbelief. They couldn't understand how this was happening. The news of the kind professor's power quickly spread throughout the town. Soon, people from all around came to meet Professor Barnhouse. They asked for his help. Some wanted their heavy furniture moved without lifting a finger, while others wanted to see their cars washed without anyone touching them. He happily obliged, and everyone was amazed at his abilities. However, not everyone was happy about Professor Barnhouse's power. The military and the government grew worried. They thought that his power could be used for bad things. They believed it was too dangerous to be in the hands of one man. They decided to take action. One day, while Professor Barnhouse was helping a farmer by plowing his fields with his mind, a group of stern-looking government agents arrived. They told the professor that he was going with them. The professor didn't want any trouble. He agreed to go with them, but he asked for one last wish. He wanted to visit his old college and see his favorite teacher, Professor Whitby, one more time. The agents agreed. At the college, Professor Barnhouse and Professor Whitby shared a warm reunion. Professor Whitby asked, Jonathan, why are you here with these people? Barnhouse explained the situation, and Professor Whitby understood. He advised Barnhouse not to use his power for harm and to always remember to be a good person. As they were leaving the college, the government agents received a message on their radios. A war had broken out in a faraway land, and they needed Professor Barnhouse's power to help. They told him about the war and begged for his assistance. They assured him that he would be helping to save many lives. Reluctantly, Professor Barnhouse agreed to help, but he had one condition. He wanted Professor Whitby to accompany him. The agents agreed, and the two professors were flown to the war-torn country. On the battlefield, Professor Barnhouse used his power to stop bullets, move rubble, and rescue injured soldiers. He did everything he could to help, and the soldiers were grateful. However, the war continued to rage, and Barnhouse couldn't stop it completely. One day, as they were helping a group of children who were trapped in a building, a bomb fell nearby. Professor Barnhouse and Professor Whitby were severely injured. They lay on the ground, holding hands, and Professor Barnhouse knew that his time was running out. With his last bit of energy, he used his power to create a beautiful light show in the sky, full of colors and shapes. It was a symbol of hope and peace. As he closed his eyes for the last time, he knew that he had used his power for the greater good. The war eventually ended, and people remembered the man who could move things with his mind. They honored Professor Barnhouse's memory by working for peace and helping each other. They learned that true power was not about what you could do but how you used it to make the world a better place. And so, the legacy of Professor Jonathan Barnhouse lived on, inspiring generations to come. Vocabulary Toy 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 Nurse 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 Farmer. 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 War. 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 Sky. 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 Bullet. 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 Bullet.